Hello, Mr. Mendoza. Hello, Jorge. Hello, hello. Good evening. Hi, good evening, guys. Welcome to another class here at Inglés Corporativo. Thank you very much for logging in. So, okay. today, guys, we're going to be covering different topics. We're going to be working with extras from exercise 2.5, okay? Now, before we continue, antes de continuar, do you have any questions about yesterday's topic? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta del tema de ayer? No. 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 Uh, no, yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yo te tengo right. pregunta, teacher. Go uh, ahead. ¿cuándo, ¿Cuándo debemos de cambiar la forma del verbo? Porque en las, en las preguntas que estábamos contestando anoche, mm -hmm. en algunas veo que sí se cambia la forma y en otras no. Mm, give me an example, please. Eh, veamos en la, en la número 3 dice how did you spend ahí no le cambia la forma que tiene original el mm, ok ok el verbo. Mm -hmm. I see where you're going um, pretty much guys we are going to change the verb only in the affirmative sentence solamente en la oración afirmativa le vamos a cambiar el verbo ok siempre hablando en pasado por ejemplo I went to the movie theater yesterday. Fui al cine el día de ayer. ¿Ok? Entonces, cuando es afirmativa, nosotros sí vamos a cambiar el verbo. Sin embargo, cuando es pregunta, Did you go to the movie theater yesterday? O cuando es negativa, I didn't go to the movie theater yesterday. ¿Ok? Entonces, es muy buena pregunta, guys. Uh, la que hizo Jorge. Solo vamos a cambiar el verbo pasado en la afirmativa, en negativo. Y pregunta, no lo cambiamos porque tenemos el auxiliar did. Y el auxiliar did ya está en pasado. Okay. Okay. ¿Le contesté gracias, la pregunta, sir. Jorge? Yes, gracias. All right, fantastic. Um, any other question before we start with today's topic? ¿Alguna otra pregunta no. antes que empezamos con el tema de hoy? No. no. All right, fantastic. So, te, 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 tengo una teacher. Go ahead, sir. Este, pero no es del tema ayer, sino que del día anterior. <laughs> okay. Con el de la plataforma. Uh -huh. No pude resolver el, el problema que vi en, en, en el 4. Ah, ok. De how well. Eh, yo puse, how well can you take? Y me lo aceptó, ahí me dio. Entonces, uh -huh. el can imagino que es como una habilidad, como can type, como can dance, can sing. Uh -huh. Por eso me imagino que lo aceptó y lo posteé. Sí, lo <ríe> vi. Que todos lo, lo vi. Ajá. Déjeme decirle que sí, la, es, esta respuesta está bien. Sin embargo, quizás por el mismo motivo que no estábamos trabajando con ese modal verb, con can, uh -huh. es que nadie lo puso, incluyéndome. ¿Sí? Pero uh -huh. sí. La, está muy bien. Normalmente, guys, siempre se busca un patrón. Estamos trabajando con el inglés y estamos trabajando con do, con la auxiliar do. Okay. Pero la plataforma no, no quiso trabajar en do. <risa> Porque no aceptó ni uno. Ajá. So, ah, por algún motivo estamos con el auxiliar can. Está bien. O sea, esa, esa pregunta es válida, pero no, no era lo que veníamos trabajando. Ajá. Okay. Así que Pero fue, fue la única que, que, que pudo, que pasó. Uh -huh. No, y le agradezco. De ahí, de ahí todas daban error. Yes, sir. Believe me, I tried. Yo traté también. <risa> okay. so, going the extra mile. A eso se le llama, guys. Se dice the going extra. the extra mile. Uh -huh. Es going the extra Se los voy a escribir en el chat. To go the extra mile. Eso es dar un poquito más de lo que claro, no, queda yeah. más. Ok. Fantastic. So, today we're going to be covering exercise and lesson 2.5. Do me a favor, please, and everyone, go to your platform 2.5. Oh, ya. ya vimos quién es la de la UIA. Ah, <laughs> ok. <laughs> Beatriz. No. Uh -huh. Sí. Sí. <laughs> Es muy potente su micrófono que se escucha todo. De verdad, no le creo. 
Ah, después lo voy right. a silenciar. <laughs> nah, don't worry, Bea. No worry. Don't worry, Bea. So, um, let's go to exercise 2.5, please. Do you want me to share the screen or you have it in front of you? ¿Quieren que les comparta el screen o lo tienen en frente? Yes, share. Share, please. Share, please. Well done. 2.5, lesson. 2.5. So, let's repeat after me, please. Okay. 2.5, lesson objective. 2.5, lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. In this session. In this session. In this session. In this session. Participants. Participants. Will listen to a conversation. We we'll we'll listen, listen to a conversation. 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 Here, guys, let me give you a tip. Cuando tenemos esta finalización, ese suffix, el t i o n, vamos a decir shin. 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 Del de sonido de s h. Al sonido de la N. No metemos sí. la O en medio. Sí. Okay. So, no vamos a decir son. Vamos a decir son. Everyone. Conversation. 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 All right. So, let's do it. And this time, we repeat everything. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation using past simple. In this session, the participant, participant will be in the conversation station using passive past simple. Correct. Yes. Pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. For details and pronunciation. For details and pronunciation. In pronunciation. If you see here, si ven aquí nuevamente. Con la misma terminación, igual. For example, tomorrow is vacation. There you go, vacation. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, pay attention for details and pronunciation. Pay attention for details and pronunciation. All right, very good. So, en esta sesión, los participantes escucharán una conversación en pasado simple, con atención a detalles y pronunciación. So, right now, guys, I am going to share with you with audio. And I want you to listen. I'm just going to play it once, okay? Just once. Let's read the questions first. Vamos a leer las preguntas primero. So, you know what to expect. Ya saben qué esperar. Read with me. Who had a boring time? Who had a Who boring, had boring, a boring, boring time. time? Very good. Aquí en el time, guys, estoy escuchando que algunos de ustedes no están topando los labios. Se escucha abierto. Time. 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 Who can tell me what is the meaning in Spanish? ¿Quién la pasó aburrido? ¿Quién la pasó aburrido? Exacto. Un día aburrido. Next one. Who had a good time? Who had a good time? Who had a good time? Very good. Who had a good time? Who had a good time? Tapando los labios. Good job. Next one. Who met an old friend? Vamos a vamos a hacer un link, guys. Vamos Mira, a unirle. Mira, 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 Mira. Listen Mira. first, and then you repeat. Primero escuchen. Who met an old friend? Who met an old friend? Who met an old friend? Is that the American uh, team? An old, an old friend. Who met an old friend? What is the meaning in Spanish for this one? ¿Quién se reunió con un viejo amigo? Next one. Who got home late? Who got home late? In Spanish? 
¿Quién llegó tarde ¿Quién a casa? Llegó tarde a casa. Llegó tarde a casa. Tarde a casa. All right, guys. So I'm going to play with you just once. Please try to pay attention. And let's answer these questions. Who had a boring time? Who had a good time? Who had a boring time? Who had a boring time? Who met an old friend? Who had a good time? Who met an old friend? Friend. Old friend. Friend. And who got home late? Who got very good. So let's play it. Just one moment because it doesn't want to play. Okay, let me open another one to see if it works. There we go. Listening. What did you do last night? Part A. Listen to John and Laura describe what they did last night. Check the correct information about each person. So, what did you do last night, John? Uh, I went to my boss's house for dinner. Really? How was it? Oh, the food was okay, but the people weren't very interesting. They talked about football all night, and I hate football. Then we watched some boring sports videos. I didn't get home until after midnight. Well, that doesn't sound like much fun. I had a great time last night. I went to a party and met an old school friend of mine. We haven't seen each other for years, so we had lots to talk about. We stayed at the party all night. Hmm, it sounds like you had a much better time than I did. Yeah. I guess you're right. All right, guys. So we're done. Were you able to identify the answers? Yes. Yes. All right. Very good. So I need a volunteer. Let me see. Hmm. Let me see. The first person to con to log in was. Mr. Mendoza, I think. Go ahead, Mr. Mendoza. Mr. Mendoza. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who had a boring time? Mm -hmm. The answer is John. John, do you guys agree? Yes. 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 Good. Let me see Edwin Perez. Can you hear me? Edwin? Perez or Rivas? Uh -huh. It says here Edwin Perez, if you can see on the screen. Mm. But anyways, you go ahead and answer. Help me out. If you're Edwin Rivas, go ahead. I think uh, God had a good time. Uh, Laura? Laura, okay. Do you guys agree? Yes. 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 Good job, sir. Let's repeat with me. Who? 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 It was Laura. All right. And uh, number four, let me see from the other screen. Yanira. Yanni, can you hear me? Yes. All right, perfect. Could you please help me with number four? Laura. No. Do you guys agree? Both. No. no. Both. 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 Mm -hmm. It was actually John. Okay. John. All right, so let me see if we got it. No. Both. The both. 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 Yes. Both. 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 Try again. Yes. Both. That is both. correct. Good job, guys. Good job. <laughs> All right, so let's go with the next so we can practice more. Lesson objective. Lesson, like, Lesson objective. <laughs> Participants will have a chance to listen to a conversation where past of B is used. 
participants will have a safe conversation where passwords are used. Okay, very good. Let me see. I need a volunteer, and this time I want you to say me. I want to participate. Let me see if we have a volunteer. Me? Go ahead, sir. Okay. Participants will have a chance to listen to a conversation where past of B is used. Okay, very good. Good job, sir. Now, I really like the fact that you said the whole conversation. Me gustó que dijo toda, toda, la, toda la idea, toda la oración, y eso está fantástico. Uh, let me help you, you with some pronunciation here. Everyone, chance. Chance. Let me see if you remember. Chance. Yesterday we were working with the pronunciation of the regular verbs in past. Yeah. Ayer estábamos trabajando con la pronunciación de los verbos regulares en pasado. Yes. Si el, si el yes. verbo base use, ¿en qué termina? What is the end of the sound? A little T. A little T. So the pronunciation is? Fantastic. We learn every single day. All right. So los participantes escucharán una conversación donde el pasado, el verbo be, se pone en práctica. Okay. Now, in this conversation, guys, we're going to make a small change. Okay. Vamos a hacer un pequeño cambio. Normally, I ask you to repeat several times. In this case, we won't do it because the content is very heavy. En este caso, no vamos a poner el... Solo lo vamos a escuchar. Do me a favor. Everyone, mute your phones, please, so you can listen to the conversation. Your microphones. I always say phone. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I have that on my mind. All right. Let me play it for you. Everyone, mute your your microphones. There I go. Participants will have a chance to listen to a conversation when past of B is used. Hi to all. Welcome to this session. We'll continue talking about simple past, but now I want you to find out the simple past of B. Listen to the conversation and figure it out. Don't miss next class where I'll explain the past of B. Let's listen. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. All right, guys. So let's get some new vocabulary. But we went here. surfing every day. Here we go. Now, who can tell me, how do you say primo? Cousin. Cousin. Mm -hmm. Cousin. Everyone? Cousin. 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 I'm going to show you, normally we use the schwa on this one, okay? So please mute your microphones. Thank you very much. I said microphones today. All right. So many people say ka. Let me see. Let me just have a moment. Please take a look at my camera so you can see how I pronounce. Many people say ka. Mouth open, cousin, which is incorrect, okay? Or many people say cousin, which is also incorrect. So the, the right pronunciation for this one is the schwa. Ka. Ka. Solo bajamos un poquito, se los voy a explicar en español. Para el schwa solo bajamos un poquito la mandíbula y hacemos un sonido así. Ka. 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 No sé si a alguno de ustedes les gusta el hip hop, a mí no mucho, pero siempre lo escucho. Se los digo así a mis estudiantes, como que estamos cantando hip hop. Ah, 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 ah. Sintiendo este ritmo, ¿verdad? 
Entonces vamos a hacer a. Cousin. Cousin. Si se fijan, no abro tanto la boca como que digo cousin, cousin, cousin. Solo baja un poquito. Cousin. All right. So, let's go back to the sharing screen and say with me, cousin. 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 All right. So, how do you say, que suertudo? Lucky. 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 There you go, Gio. Mm -hmm. We had a great time. Say it with me. We had a great time. 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 We a great time. We have a great time. How do you say nublado? Cloudy. Cloudy. It's cloudy. 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 How do you say olas? Well, wait. 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 So this was a little bit of vocabulary. Un poquito de vocabulario, guys. And now vamos a lo que hemos venido, okay? A la parte dura. So let's read with me. In this session, in this session, session, Participants, 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 Uh, who did that? Me. Do that? Pass to be. This is great. I don't know who did it. No sé quién hizo eso, pero no sé cómo se hace. Ahí me explican en chat. All right. So say with me. Question and short answer. Question and short answer will be short answer will be short answer will be short answer. It will be the town. Question. 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 All right, just give me a second. My turn. And short dancers. And short dancers. Lo unimos. Will be taught. Will be taught. Will be taught. Now speed. In this oh, session, no. participants will study the past of B. Question and short answers will be taught. In this session, participants will study the past of B. And short answers will be taught. Short answers will be taught. All right, very good. Um, oh. Roxy, no. can you hear me, Roxy? Roxana Vasquez? Ah, in the micro. <laughs> Oops. Can you hear me, Roxy? Okay. In this session, uh -huh. participants will study the past of B. Past of Question. B. Unalo. Past of B. Past of B. Past of B. Mm -hmm. Past of B. Okay. Question and uh, short angles will be taught. Sure. Good, good job, girl. Fantastic. Let's say it with me. Answers. Just Roxana. Answers. 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 All right. Very good. So, guys, let's go ahead and continue. Here, I just want you to watch the video. Solo quiero que vean el video. And then it's going to, I'm going to give you another image. Okay? Solo vean el video. Luego yo les voy a poner una imagen sobre la cual vamos a trabajar los últimos 30 minutos de la clase. Okay? Are you ready? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Everybody, please mute your microphone. 
Yes, I was going to say it incorrectly, but yes. Everyone mute your microphones, please. <clears throat> In this session, participants will study the past of B. Questions and short answers will be taught. Hello, nice to have you back. I'll make reference of the past of the verb B. Let's start. Past of B. Were you in Hawaii? Yes, I was. Was the weather okay? No, it wasn't. Were you and your cousin on vacation? Yes, we were. Were your parents there? No, they weren't. How long were you away? I was away for a week. How was your vacation? It was excellent. Contractions. Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. The past of be, am um, and is, was, are, were. To ask questions using the past of be, we do it this way. Was, were, plus subject, plus complement, plus question mark. Were you my student? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was she sad? Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Were they late? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Remember, we used be to express feelings, conditions, estates, and descriptions, either in present or past. Now you try answering the following questions. Were you my student before? Were you happy yesterday? Were you late this morning? All right, guys. So now let me go ahead and show you something I got before we do it. So who can tell me when to use the past of B? Alguien que me pueda decir cuando ocupar el pasado de B? <laughs> For example, when we when we can ask some questions, some question in past. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, what is the verb to be? ¿Qué es el verbo to be? O en español. Ser, ser, ser y estar. Ser o estar. Ser, estar, parecer. Okay. Now. En el afirmativo, nosotros vamos a ocupar, guys, y se lo digo así para que quede súper, súper claro, con los sujetos o el verbo to be sería I, he, she, and it, vamos a ocupar was. Was. Mm -hmm. And we, you, they, we are going where. to use where. Okay? So, everyone read with me, please. I was happy. He was hungry. He was hungry. 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 Here, vamos a tener un poquito de cuidado con esta porque no vamos a decir um, angry. A veces tendemos a confundirlo un poquito. Se lo puedo poner acá. Angry. Mm -hmm. Angry. 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 Plus. 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 plus compliment. All right. So, how do you say? <laughs> Ella era una enfermera. She was a nurse. She was a nurse. Very good. How do you say? Ella no era una enfermera. She was a nurse. She was a nurse. A nurse. A nurse. Very good. Very good. Now, here. The structure is the same, guys. As you can see, you just add the negative. The structure is the same. Solo le ponemos el not. And as you can see here, como pueden ver aquí, was not. Yes. Were not. Wasn't. Were. Were. Okay. 
Very good. Any okay. questions so far? No. No question? Okay, question. And what happens? Vamos a quedarnos hasta aquí. Esto no lo vamos a ver el día de hoy. Vamos a ver esto. Las preguntas prácticamente solo le damos la vuelta al sujeto y el was. Okay? So, they were happy. Were they happy? 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 And the answers are... Yes, they yes, were. Yes, they were. Yes, they were. They were. Yes, they were. No, they, they were. were. Mm-hmm. Was she rich? Was she rich? She was. She was. She was. Yes. Yes, she, she was. She was. was. She was. No, she was. She was. She was. All right. Very good. Guys, <laughs> any questions about the structure? Alguna pregunta con la estructura? No. No. Claro, after what to water clear? Yeah. All right, fantastic. So, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to open the break room, okay? And I want you to ask questions to each other. Were you happy yesterday? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Okay? Y ahí nosotros podemos ir, go the extra mile, y metemos más información. Okay. So, how do you say, estabas feliz? Was it you? Were you happy? 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 Was, where was how you happy? No, no estaba. You were. Let me you happy. No, I was. I was. I was. I was. It no, wasn't. Was. So, vamos a trabajar nada más con esto. Olvidémonos ahorita de los WH. Were you happy? No, I wasn't. Y ahí podemos dar más información. Because I spent my pay. Alright. Ya me gasté toda la tarde. Ok. So that's why I wasn't happy. Por eso no estaba contento. So guys, it's 9.33 right now. I'm going to open the, the, the room for 10 minutes. Ok. Quiero que se hagan preguntas. Que saquen cualquier duda que puedan tener. Okay. All right. All right. Perfect. So I'm going to be visiting you in the break rooms. There you go. Hungry yesterday? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Yes, I was hungry <laughs> at lunch time. And um, make sure that you add more information. You can say, Yes, I was hungry because I didn't eat. In the morning, okay? Sí, tenía mucha hambre porque no comí en la mañana. So always try to get more information. Help each other, guys. Continue. Okay. Okay. Mm. okay. Was... No, no, no. Where are you... Where did you... Try? Were you tired? Yes. Were you tired, Yesenia? Yes, I was. <laughs> yes. Tired. Yes, I was uh, all tired. day because the work is hard. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. All right, go ahead, guys. I'll be right back. Continue. Okay. okay. Were you there? 
Espéreme, sería el we, el you y el they, they con el were. Hi, teacher. Hey. <laughs> I, am Hi, teacher. teacher. I am incognito mode. Continue. <laughs> Perdón. Vale. Um, entonces íbamos a hacernos preguntas o la o decíamos oraciones, ¿verdad? Hoy íbamos a hacer las preguntas y nos íbamos a contestar, ¿verdad? Right. Van a hacer preguntas, you're going to ask questions, yes, no questions, para que podamos practicar las short answers, pero yo les recomiendo que metan más información. Were you tired yesterday? ¿Estuviste cansado ayer? Yes, I was. Because it was a difficult day at work. Okay? Also mm -hmm. ask each other. You can say, for example, Hey, JC, was Gio angry yesterday? Y tú le preguntas, no, Gio? Yes, he always. He's <laughs> all the time. Oh. What? Esa dinámica la podemos hacer, por ejemplo, Jay, si tú le preguntas a Roxana, por ejemplo, Roxana, tú le preguntas a Gio, para que podamos practicar también tercera persona. ¿Ok? So, for example, um, hey, Jay, si, was Roxana sleepy yesterday? Y ahora tú le preguntas a Roxana, Roxana, were you sleepy yesterday? Roxana te contesta a ti y luego tú me dices a mí. Okay, es complicado nada más al principio, luego le, le tomamos el. All right, go ahead. Ask Roxana, please. Um, Roxana. Um, Were you sleepy yesterday? Were you sleepy yesterday? Yes, I was sleeping yesterday. Okay, very good. Ahora tú, Jaycee, como yo te pregunté a ti acerca de Roxana, tú me contestas a mí, yes, she was sleepy. Go ahead. Ah, uh, yes, she was sleeping. Just ok, true. fantastic. So, podemos tomar esa dinámica. Uno le pregunta al otro acerca del otro y todos interactúan y también podemos hacer preguntas directas. Go ahead, let me see. Give it a try. We also have Jorge over there. Very quiet, Jorge. Go ahead, give it a try. JC, where you uh, where you study yesterday? Mm. Where you study? Where you study yesterday at school? Acordémonos que ahí, fantastic. Me gusta que estos casos así salgan. Acuérdense que el complemento generalmente es algún tipo de descripción. Porque estamos ocupando el where como verbo, el verbo to be. Entonces, where you study, en ninguna metemos verbo. Porque esa es otra estructura. Ya sería mm. pasado continuo. Were you studying yesterday? Estuviste estudiando ayer. Uh -huh. So, pongamos mm -hmm. adjetivos más que todo, como feliz, triste, cansado. Ok. Ok. All right, give it a try, guys. I'm going to check another room, and if you have any questions, we will discuss it when I come back, ok? Ok. Mm -hmm. Were you exciting for work? <laughs> no. Maybe no. No, 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 no I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't. And you? My, yeah. my, my daughters, my daughters were, uh, they were uh, exciting uh, to come back to school. Ah, oh. great. <laughs> okay. No, I wasn't. <laughs> My work is 
so a little yes. boring and um, a little too much work too much work <laughs> okay okay uh, okay, mm -hmm. okay. okay. I, I had a question uh, inglés corporativo uh, was in uh, was in, was in, uh, sad Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That will be, <laughs> to be honest, dice. that will be Inglés Corporativo. Where you said. Ah, where you. Uh -huh. pero, pero en este caso, este, estoy hablando de una persona, y me refiero como a tercera persona, por eso dije yo, eh, wasn't. Porque si, bueno, si ocupo Inglés Corporativo. Como primera persona sería where. Ahí um, me confundí. Ok, good question. Lo que pasa es que inglés corporativo lo vamos a ocupar como sujeto. Y como nombre? inglés corporativo solo es uno, puede ser cualquier cosa. Puede ser um, mm. he, she, or it. Ahí es donde agarra el. el. Exactly. Okay. So he, she, or it. All right, guys. Okay. Go ahead and continue. Ok, thank you. Ok. Okay. Um, o sea, yo puedo preguntar, por ejemplo, eh, Jorge, eh, William was uh, sad yesterday. Así sería como en tercera persona. Um, aquí no cambia. En ah. tercera persona no cambia. Solo acordémonos que para we, you y they ocupamos where. Where. Para todos los demás, was. Entonces, uh, le damos vuelta, ¿ok? Was William. ¿Ok? Ah, uh, ok. Nosotros decimos, William was happy. Para la pregunta le damos vuelta. Was William happy? Was William happy? Uh -huh. Ok. All okay. right, very good. I'll be right back, and if you have any questions, let me know. Sí, teacher, yo tengo una, una pregunta. Go ahead. Este, cuando preguntamos where, ¿cuál es la diferencia cuando preguntamos where, de dónde y where así en pasado? En, en la pronunciación, ¿cuál sería la diferencia? Prácticamente lo mismo. Where, ah. where. Uh -huh. en, vamos, uh -huh. a, vamos a encontrar muchos, eso se llaman homophones. Homophone. Tienen el mismo sonido, pero a veces tienen diferente significado. escritura y significado. Mm. Ok. Y luego tenemos otros, pero eso ya son otras clases que <risa> describen igualito, pero tienen diferente significado dependiente del contexto. Así que el mismo contexto te va a decir, porque tú puedes ah, decir, okay. ¿dónde estabas tú? Where were you? Where were you? Where were you? Where were you? Uh -huh. Y el mismo contexto te va guiando. Yeah, okay, okay. Thank right. you. You're welcome, sir. Okay. I'll be right back. Ok, okay. gracias. So let's continue. I got Selena, most of you are back. All right, guys, before we go to the knowledge check, how was the practice? ¿Qué tal estuvo la práctica? ¿Alguna pregunta? Question. Go ahead. Is correct? We, 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 where you work tomorrow? Mm, okay. Good. Buena pregunta. En estos, si ustedes se fijan, let me share this with you one more time. Quizás es un tip que les tengo que dar. Just give me a second. Okay. Here, si ustedes se fijan, happy, hungry, nurse, big, en el complemento nosotros nunca, nunca vamos a ocupar un verbo. Verbo. Uh -huh. Porque si nosotros ocupamos verbo, Aquí ya sería el, el pasado continuo. 
I was mm -hmm. working. Yo estaba trabajando. ¿Ok? Entonces, es igual que en el español. Por ejemplo, yo estaba triste. El was acá es un verbo principal. ¿Ok? Entonces, siempre vamos a tener, si ustedes se fijan, acá tenemos happy. Es un adjetivo, es un adjetivo. Because it describes, describe. Hungry, hambriento, a nurse. Esto es un, es un noun, un nombre, un nombre de una profesión, pero está actuando como adjetivo. Yo era una enfermera o un enfermero, porque nurse se puede para ambos. Entonces nos describe todo esto, triste, sediento, un maestro, pequeño, tarde, en casa, ruidoso. Si ustedes se fijan, están describiendo. Okay. No sé si, uh, did I answer the question? Oh. ¿Contesté la pregunta? Yes, teacher. All right. Um, any other question, guys, that you might have with the structure? ¿Alguna otra yeah, pregunta? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Uh, uh, a question with the, 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 it. For example, when I say the, was the dog hungry? What is the answer? Yes, it was. It was. It was. ¿Y qué me puede decir la negativa? Who can tell me the negative? It wasn't. It was. No. It wasn't. No. It wasn't. Yo he escuchado algunos que dicen cuando son animales ponen he o she también. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah Esa yeah. era mi duda. Yo he escuchado okay. que sí dicen algunos. No okay. sé si es correcto. The one who is doing that, the que está haciendo eso, me enseña, okay? I don't know how to do this. No sé cómo poner eso. All right. So, um, I'm uh, to answer your question, Ronnie, yes. La gente, como considera la mascota, generalmente le podemos decir he or she. Ahí viene la canela, she. Ahí viene el canelo, she. Mm -hmm. so, yes, sí se puede. Gramaticalmente tendría que ser it, pero como ya le ponemos sentimiento, el amor, pues, it, it. Sí, yo escuché unos, unos, unos americanos decir eso, por eso tenía mi duda. Yeah, era... yeah, it is correct. It is valid too. Yeah. All right, fantastic, guys. So, remember the knowledge check is up to you. Okay, but I like for you to discuss it. Me gusta que ustedes lo, lo puedan discutir. Um, ¿Cuándo vamos a ocupar el Fast of B, guys? ¿Alguien que me pueda decir? What? ¿Quién me puede decir cuándo ocupar el Fast of B? Fast of B. Uh -huh. For describe feeling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Feelings, emotions, what else? Emotion. Or anything, pretty much. Cualquier cosa en el pasado. El pasado de ser es tal y parecer. All right, so let me help you on this one. I'm going to help you with one and two. How long? How long? Uh -huh. How long? How long? How long? Your parents in Europe. Uh -huh. si tenemos... Where? Where? Why? Why where? ¿Cuál de todos estos es? Where. Where. Because they. Exactly. Because it's they. Yes. Now, they. They were. Where. Were. There for two weeks. There for two weeks. Very good. And here? They were. They were. They were. They were. were or were. They were there. Were they. Were. Were they, were, were they in London? Were they in London? Two were mm -hmm. teacher, teacher, Number the four. First, the first is where, where two. They were. Number four, where? All right. Thank you for that. They much. were. Uh -huh. Teacher. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. They were. Okay. What about number four? They. Where? 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 How do you write that down? Not they. 
y quizás no nos habíamos fijado o no le había puesto mucha atención. Remember the capital letters, guys. Okay. okay. How long? Capital letter or lowercase? Okay. How do you teacher, say my the, 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 the teacher, the capital letter is when when the verb is begin the the the, 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 the question. The number two. Exactly. So when it's at the beginning, guys, esto en writing is very important. Okay. Here, as you mm -hmm. can see, it's in the middle, lowercase. Yes. Lowercase. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Let me go ahead and write it down in the chat. Just one moment. Just one moment. Here it is. So I'm going to text to you how to say, or how are you write? Capital letter. That one is mayuscula, and then we have lowercase. Lowercase. Mm -hmm. Capital letter, lowercase. La primera. Okay. Generalmente okay. es la primera, for example, here. Uh, where well, in the where, question yeah. then we have yeah, yeah. minuscula how do you say minuscula no, no, case. Case. So, y cómo se dice mayúscula no importando dónde va capital letter capital letter, letter. 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 Right. ya viste es un sonido es la primera capital letter is this one guys oh, okay. this one and then if it's general it si es general se puede decir uppercase Uppercase. 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 Okay. All right. Now that we have that clear, next one. Were, you... were they in London the whole time? No, they weren't. Remember here. No, they weren't. No, 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 or where? Yeah. Now, next one. Number five. Were you in Los Angeles last weekend? Were you in Los Angeles? Number six. Where? The answer is... No, I was. I was. No, I was. No, I was. Were you? I wasn't. I wasn't. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. I was in San Francisco. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't. No, I wasn't. I was in San Francisco. Very good. The next one. How, how was it? it? How was how it? it? How, was how was it? Again. How was it? Was it? How, it? how was it? How was it? Was. How was it? Very good. Number eight. Where, Where it was. was. It was great. 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 Fantastic. All right. No, where? Number nine. Where, where you away were you last week? Where you away last week? Where you away last week? And this one, is it going to be capital letter or lowercase? Capital, capital, capital letter. letter. Capital. 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 And capital the answer? Letter. Where? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. I was. I was. I was. Why? If you notice, I... We're going to wow. use it with what? Was. Was. Okay. was. Fantastic. Yeah. Capital letter or lowercase? Lowercase. 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 Lower 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 okay. Fantastic, guys. So, in this case, any question that you might have with the past of B? Excellent. ¿Alguna pregunta que tengamos con el pasado de B? No. No, no one? <laughs> So, if I choose a volunteer, a volunteer, ¿me pueden contestar? Yes. All right, very good. 
Um, William, give me a number one to ten. Number five. One, five, okay. One, two, Yesenia, three, Marcela, Sonia, four, Moises Munguia, el sorteado. All right. Hey. Moises. <laughs> yes. Um, were you upset? Excuse me? Uh, yes. Yes. Gracias, Were you, were you upset yesterday? Upset mm -hmm. is like a sundown. No. Upset is like angry. Ah, okay. Uh, yes, I. Yes, I. Yes, I was. Why? Uh, because the traffic is terrific. <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> now, correction though. Terrific es algo muy bueno. Ah, perdón. Ter terrible. Horrible. Terrible, terrible is something very bad. Terrible. 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 Yes. Terrible. All right. Que le gusta el tráfico. <laughs> porque duerme en el bus. That's good. <laughs> Make sure you don't go to a, another bus stop, okay? That's dangerous. And is the terrible place or awful? Awful, yep. Yeah. It can be awful. Uh, awful. 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 Y upset puede ser como desesperado. Upset is like, de alguna manera, molesto. Upset. Upset. Okay. So, Moises, give me a number one to ten for the last big volunteer. Okay, num <laughs> <laughs> number two. Two. One. Yes. <laughs> you send me. I gotcha. You send me. So, Jesse. Hi. Were you sleepy yesterday? Yes, I was okay. sleepy yesterday. Why? Because I like sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> because I like, like sleep. sleeping in all time, in the afternoon, in the morning, in the night. <laughs> in the traffic. In the traffic. In the traffic is the better. In the bus. <laughs> Make sure you <laughs> the bus. The bus. All right, fantastic, guys. So mm -hmm. just as a, as a recap, today we started the past of B, okay? And we use it for emotions, feelings, etc. Recommendation, always do exercises at home. And if you have a question, feel free to text me, okay? Okay. okay. Eventually, okay. I'm going to answer because I have other classes during the day, but I will <laughs> answer. Okay. okay. So remember, okay. guys, practice makes perfect. Thank you very much for logging in tonight. Thank you for being a part of this excellent experience, which is learning English. This can definitely change your lives. So keep on. Okay. Continue learning English. So my name is Alejandro Narbona, guys. Thank you very much on behalf of English Corporativo. Have a beautiful <laughs> night and enjoy your weekend, all right? Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you for your participation. Thank you all Have evening. a good night. Take care. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye bye. 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 See you later. Hola. Bye. 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 B